Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to this new video on Dogecoin. A quick little update. Uh, last update for some time, I think, because, uh, well, we have crashed down pretty hard. Uh, which was also expected. I told you about this um, uh, for the last two analysis as well. Nothing against Dogecoin, but it was. Um, yeah, I think it was the most likely scenario that we would fall. So we'll kind of do an overview on that. Uh, but we'll also talk about when we were, when we can expect to go up again. Uh, because at some point we will go up again. And we'll talk briefly about the fundamentals as well. And when with the fundamentals, I obviously mean the whole situation with Elon Musk and Twitter. Um, but yeah, we'll talk about all of that before we get into that specifically. Um, if you want to receive daily trading signals and uh, make some profitable trades, check out the links down in the description or the pinned comments and there you'll find instructions on how to join. All right, now onto, uh, onto Dogecoin. So we've dropped down quite significantly yesterday. We uh, dropped down below this 9.4 level, dropped down below 9.2, took a break retest and started falling quite a lot yesterday evening. Uh, and ever since, I mean, we dropped down below 8.6, 8.5, which was a support. And right now we found some support at the 100 EMA, but we also had a bearish breakout through 8.5. It gave up as a support. So that's now our resistance. Now, altogether, um, quite a lot of this momentum, I think, was caused by the removal of Dogecoin as, um, as a logo, which at some point of time that was to be expected. Maybe it will still get some sort of a tail end right now, but it's um, it's not not something I expect. So that happened. That caused more bearish pressure. Right now, the the only thing which could really provide some strong bullish momentum on the short term is if there's, as I said, if there's so, some sort of a follow up by Elon Musk, which is a possibility. I mean, if there's some sort of a, some sort of a tweet by him. I think we can break above 8.5, 8.6 and get up to 9.2, 9.4 easily again. Um, it's just that I cannot predict something like that. Right now, if we purely take a look at the technicals, we found support, but we also have major resistance now, especially between 8.5 and 8.6 is major resistance. So what I expect is that we, we can get up there, but from there we will find resistance and drop down to this level right here, which is more interesting between 7.8 and 8 cents. First of all, that's a strong technical level. You can also see that. Second of all, it has a 200 EMA in there. And third of all, after a while, which uh, pro early next week, it also has this trend line supporting it. Now, not yet, but it is close below that. Uh, so what I expect is that we will drop down to that level. If there's no news, if there are no fundamental developments. And from there, I think we can actually hold it and start to maybe regain some bullish momentum that is 100 dependent on what bitcoin does though i think if bitcoin remains consolidating like this dogecoin will not find support here and we will just get back into some sort of a consolidation as well um but yeah it's um it's it's really waiting for what kind of support we get there as i said i think we will drop down there i think we will actually f find some strong support there i'm even considering buying it uh, from that level briefly um so if we get strong support there, if we can easily hold that, we might as well have a chance to break above 8.5, 8.6 if the market is bullish right now. now. I must say, though, that I think it's more likely that we will drop down there, find some support. Market is still quiet so that we will slowly drop back down towards old support levels around 7.4 and 7.2. Um, that's what I think the most likely scenario is. But I just wanted to, to let you know that there are realistic and bullish scenarios out there as well. So I'll keep you updated on Dogecoin for sure. But for now, this is my take. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye.